Hi everyone, Jared here. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to wire a 4905-9930H margin module. And this can be a little, well, complicated for some users. But in reality, this thing is actually kind of simple to wire up. Now, unfortunately, because I don't have any SmartSync devices, and the only SmartSync devices that I have has a speaker, not a horn. So, if that did have a horn, I will be showing you how to wire that up using the horn um, section of the module. So instead, we'll be wiring up the strobe. And to wire up the strobe is actually going to be very simple. So let me grab my tools and let's do it. So to get deeper into this, there are two states. An in and an out state. Okay. So this is your NAC in and your NAC out. So basically, your power will be coming in from here. And will be coming out from here. So all I just pretty much have to do is wire NAC in to NAC out. So let me grab my screwdriver and I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. So as you can see, I am loosening in the negative terminal. And I'm going to come over here and loosen the positive terminal if I can do it. There we go. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to loosen the... I just want to loosen this just a little bit more. There we go. I'm also going to loosen the screws from NAC out. So here is positive. Actually, they're already loosened. I believe. Yeah, these are already loose. And now all we just have to do is just wire it up. So let me grab my wire and let's get to it. Okay, so I have my wire and we're gonna put this in to NAC1. Or NAC in, not NAC1. Ugh. Hold on just a sec. Okay, that wire did not want to go in for a per for whatever reason. So all I just have to do is just tighten that up. And all I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna snug it in just like that. Same thing for the positive wire. And there we go. And now to grab another set of wire, and we're going to wire the NAC out. And stop rolling around, tools. Please. Okay, so we have another set of wire here. And I'm just going to go off camera real quick and put this in. Because this thing is going to be a pain. So, do as expected. Positive to positive, negative to negative, and we're going to be wiring to NAC out, right here. Okie dokie, so here's what your module should look like. We have a wire coming out of NAC out, and a wire coming from NAC in. And all we just have to do is, I need to redo that wire. But, now to find the positive and minus. Um, terminals for the strobe, which is right there. So let me rewire this for the second time. Okay, so after rewiring the module, I now have wire. 
And now we're going to wire the module to the strobe. And hopefully this works. I guarantee you it will. So let's do it. Okay, so the alarm is pretty much all wired up now. The wiring is now all wired to the speaker. Uh, yeah, strobe terminal, not speaker. It goes to knock out on the module. Knock in is wired up. And now it just needs a power source. Which, that power source is going to be... 3 9 volts. So... I'm going to get two more 9 volts, and we're going to test this out. So, let's do it. So, it's time to test the alarm and the module. I have 27 volts here with me. And beware, once again, um, make sure you know how you're using your 9 volts. Because if you don't use it properly, you're going to start a fire. Trust me, you will. Okay, so, looking at the 9 volt battery here, we have a plus, and it's hard to see, but that's plus, that's minus. Now, we can just touch those terminals, this smart thing module should start clicking. And the reason why it keeps going out is because I don't have the, um, terminal touching all the way. If I do this, it should start flashing here. Come on, guy. Okay, okay, fix that. And as you can see here, the relays in the module are working. So, that's how you know your SmartSync module is working. So, thank you all for watching. This has been a tutorial on how to wire a Simplex 4099. Yeah, Simplex 4, uh, 4905-9938. At the day of this recording, I've had a long day, so, um... But yeah, that's how you wire a SmartSync module to your system or to your uh, collection, I guess. And do note, these do fit inside of a 1-inch deep 4x4 uh, two-game bag box. Um, so if you do want to put one in a bit, uh, two-game bag box, then there you go. So, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoy. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.